Okay, um, so welcome everybody to today's meeting of the Western Hemisphere Virtual Synthetic Seminar. Um, we had Ali Akbar Demi with us last week, and today Kenji Fukaya is here to give the second part in this mini series. Um, so Kenji's going to talk about part two of three manifold representations and the Atiyah Fleur conjecture. Take it away. Yeah, thank you for present introductions. Yeah, so uh, this is the second part of, of this talk. And this is based on Ali Akbar Daimi, uh, based on joint works with Ali Akbar Daimi and Max Lipiansky. And this talk uh, uh, consists of three parts. One is this uh, fun fun functional, uh, functorial uh, formulations of the, our version of the Flair conjecture. And the second is this, uh, how this emerged case and the bounding chain is used for these problems. And I will uh, uh, sketch the proof of this theorems. So let me start with the first part. So uh, I want to define certain uh, two NFT categories. So this is functorial formulation of a version of the Flair conjecture. And uh, we start from a Riemann surface, which is a closed uh, two manifold, orient closed oriented two manifold, and it is uh, typically not connected. And we consider SO3 bundle on this two manifold, whose uh, second stiffer Voigtry class is a fundamental class. And we consider this modular space of flat connections on this uh, of this vector bundle. And this is a symplectic manifold. So this is something uh, Ali explained last week. And uh, I am going to define two NVT categories. One is this uh, gain of sigma. And this NVT category is, uh, uh, so, so for each given sigma and also this E of sigma, I will define two NVT categories. One is gain of sigma. And this NVT category is defined by gauge theory. And I will define another MVT category, which is defined by Lagrangian flare theory. So symplectic geometry on this uh, space of flat connections. So let me start with the definition of this uh, gay of sigma. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, 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 then as a theorem, the main theorem I want to explain today is that there exists a uh, MVT functor from this gauge theory category to this Lagrangian category. So that it is homotopy equivalent to a full subcategory. So, I mean, usually there are flare conjecture in somehow if you associate um, Lagrangians to three manifold and the flare and the instanton flare homology of this grid three manifold with isomorphic Lagrangian flare homology. So this is a usual uh, the flare conjecture, which I'll explain later. But this theorem is a bit more factorial. So not only associate object, but also some, some, some morphisms. Okay. So, but before I, I want to recall some definition of the MVT category, the set of objects is, uh, 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 so it, it, it consists first a set of objects. And uh, for each two object, we are supposed to have some uh, module of morphisms. Um, Typically, we use something of a Novikov ring. So, AI is some ground ring, and the lambda i is a real number, non negative real number, which go to infinity. But uh, actually, in our situation, there are some monotonicity, and we, we can work over ground ring also. But anyway, yeah. And then there is also this uh, infinity operations, the structure operations of the uh, infinity structure. If you take this bar complex, which is a kind of, uh, this is, I think, script C. Tensor product, it is a kind of C0, C1, okay, and you have, the, you have this element, and, and this is bar complex. And we have a map from this bar complex to this uh, um, monophytic space from C to C prime. This is MK. And the NVT relation is, I think many of the nodes know, so they just write it. it, it it's a kind of relation like this. You, if you iterate this M twice, then it, it, the sum is zero. So, so um, this is not, not there is, I think in this case, uh, M zero is zero, but the, uh, yeah. So first, uh, let me define this uh, NVT category 
based on gauge theory for a given sigma. So its object is just a pair of y e y, and y is an oriented three manifold whose boundary is identified with sigma. And the e of y is a SO3 boundary on y. And I, I assume that its restriction to sigma is e of sigma. So we, we are start given e and e sigma. So, so something like that sigma is here and you have a y and e sigma is extended e of y. Uh, because w2 of e sigma is fundamental class. So such a thing is empty if, there's, if sigma is uh, connected. So we, we, we consider this the case when sigma has typically two connected components or more, even number of connected component. And so this is the object and the morphism is uh, uh, defined by using instant on player homology. So you have a two, y1 and y2. So you have a two sum manifold which bounds the same sigma. Then we take this uh, sum. So And uh, e, e of e, and this is this is this is y. This is y, and e of y is, is also some. And uh, there, there, there is a, so this is a kind of called admissible pair. Admissible means that you have three manifold and uh, so three bundle, and it's it's restriction to some uh, Riemann surface is not trivial. And then uh, this uh, space of molecules is a free mod it's a free, free chain complex. So it, 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 free defined instant of free homology in this kind of situations. And it's a chain complex um, which I, I gives this free homology. So it is basically, this is alpha, maybe ground ring, alpha, and alpha is a flat connection. Um, why? So this is what Freya used. Oh, of course, in general, I need perturbation, but this is, yeah. And M1, so you have an infinity operation that M1 is just a Freya's boundary operator. So what was Freya's boundary operator? So you have this uh, Y plus R. And you have alpha, beta. Alpha, beta are flat connections. And you consider A, A is a uh, ASD equation connections. And A is asymptotic to beta and asymptotic alpha. And we consider the modular space of such ASD connections. And in the case, it's virtual dimension, it's zero. And uh, M1 alpha beta is the number of such A. So this is a, uh, 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 M1 and M2 is a uh, is, uh, so called relative transform invariant of a space X. So, what is this space X? So, you, you consider this, uh, this domain. I write it omega 3. And then I consider this omega 3 cross sigma. So, it's 3 manifold, it, it's uh, 4 manifold. And its boundary is uh, three copies of uh, R cross sigma. It's, it's in this red line. So we take this, so, so Yi, Y1, Y0, Y1, Y2 are three manifold. So that its boundary is sigma. So I grew Y1 cross R here along this sigma cross R. And uh, I grew, this is Y2 cross R here. And then I grew Y3 cross R here. I don't know, I'm sorry, uh, Y0, yeah. Y0 cross R here. So you have a, a, three, a four manifold with three ends. At this end, looks like a y1, y2 cross uh, zero infinity. And this part 
you see this uh, y2, y0 cross uh, 0 infinity. And this part is a uh, y0, y1 cross 0 infinity. So you have a four manifold. So this is, this is x. So you have a four manifold with three ends. So now, uh, so this, this x looks like something like this. You have three ends. And then uh, you put this uh, connections alpha. And this alpha is one, alpha two, beta. So this is a, a flat connection on this uh, y0, y1. And this is a connection on y1, y2. And this beta is a connection on y0, y2. And you have this x. Then you, you go to the number of a. This is the ASD connections. And who is asymptotic value? So if A is here, and these are asymptotic to these three flat connections. And we consider the case when this moduli space has a dimension zero. So this gives a matrix coefficient of M2 alpha one, alpha two, beta. This is called a relative transform invariant. So this is the M2. So let me define MK. So MK is something like a family version of relative transform invariant on this formal board with some family of Riemannian matrix. And uh, this, this, this manifold has a family of Riemannian matrix and it is parameterized by Stasi itself. So let me consider the case K is three. And then uh, the, the Stasi itself in this case is actually interval. And uh, this kind of Stasi itself is parameterized uh, kind of identified with a metric ribbon tree. So this is a metric ribbon tree. With K plus one vertex. So in this case, it's, these two edges have infinite lengths. And this length is a parameter. And of course, um, this guy continue to some other way. So you, 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 you go end up with this. This is R equal zero. And then if you go another way, you get this. So this, so this is a, so you have this real line and this part is like this and this part is here and this part is like this. Okay, so now for any sigma in this such of cell, we have this domain omega sigma. It is just a kind of a what is the budget. So it, it, it means that you, you take this small neighborhood. This is omega sigma. And this omega sigma is a subspace of complex numbers. And we take this uh, omega sigma cross, cross sigma and the uh, glue uh, y i cross r. So in, in this case, you have this picture. And maybe you have the glue y1 cross r here, and y2 cross r here, y3 cross r here, something like this, and y0 cross r here. So you have a formal four. This is x, y0, y1, y2, y3. But as you see that this, this, this manifold comes with a Riemannian metric. So when you change this length, you have a you have, you have Riemannian metric changes. So you have this family of Riemannian metric parameterized by this element of Stasi cell. And you have a four ends. And on, on this four ends, we put this uh, alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, and the beta. And then we consider uh, A, a pair of sigma and A, and the sigma is in this stash F cell, and A is a ASD connections on G sigma. I mean, this uh, ASD equation depends on this Riemannian metric. So, X. And uh, A is asymptotic.
two, alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, and beta. So you have a three connection here, and there's four four flat flat connections. Uh, it's asymptotic value. So you have body light space, and this this has a one extra parameter. So it's it's one bigger, and so this is a family version, and we count a number. And this is by definition, M3, M3, alpha one, alpha two, alpha, M3, alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, beta. So in this way, we define M3. And uh, if you go ha, 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 further, you have an uh, NVD structure. And uh, as, as, as I said, that this is a, uh, this, this parameter is by static cell. And if you see how this such cell is related to this infinity relations, you will see that MK satisfies infinity relations. So we have this infinity category associated to three manifold with the So now I will explain this second things. Um, this second infinity category is, is uh, uh, by Lagrangian player theory. Of the symplectic manifold, so this is a this is a flat connections on sigma. So first, the object of this is a immersed and spin Lagrangian submanifold, and if there is some some two two extra things. One is so called the monotone structure, which I'll explain, and the other is bounding cotton, and also I'll explain it later. So what is the monotone structure? Uh, so let me first this immersed immersed Lagrangian submanifold is a pair. L tilde and I L and L tilde is a smooth manifold and I L is a immersion and they assume it's a, um, it's this and also dimension so it's a Lagrangian immersion so um, let me recall a bit about this grading so Paul Seidel defined some notion of graded Lagrangian manifold. So what it is, so in this case is, so we first consider this uh, fiber bundle over the sky of sigma, whose fiber at a point is a oriented Lagrangian glass bunny on the tangent space. So the tangent space has a symplectic structure and given linear symplectic structure, you have, you have, you have this oriented Lagrangian glass bunny, modular space of linear Lagrangian subspace. And uh, since, uh, since C1, is divisible by two in this symplectic manifold. It implies that this, this fiber, fiber bundle has a fiber-wise double cover. So pi one of this Lagrangian glass bunion is Z. So uh, uh, each, each Lagrangian glass bunion has a double cover. And we can do it consistently globally because of these uh, conditions. So now we have a section of, uh, of, of this bundle, uh, given L, so given L, given L, it is a uh, L tilde and X. Then, then uh, we, we put back this uh, this bundle to L tilde, and then it has a canonical sections because you, you have point P here. Then uh, uh, you take this tangent bundle of this uh, uh, of this immersed Lagrangian sum manifold. It is a Lagrangian subspace, so this gives a section of this line bundle. And you, uh, in the, the gradient in the sense of Paul's idea is a lift of this, this uh, section to, to this uh, double cover. And uh, what is, uh, known, what is, what is uh, proved by Paul is that if you have two, two LL prime is uh, uh, in this sense graded, Lagrangians, then uh, prey homology is uh, Z4 graded. And uh, since, since we are, we, our Lagrangian sum manifold is oriented, it is always G2 graded, but we have this double cover, so we have a G4 graded. Now, mon this one is about grading, and the monotone means grading and energy is somehow related. So I want to explain something about energy. This is, this is I think, Ali mentioned already last week, last week. But first, we take a pre-quantum bundle, and we take this pre-quantum bundle so that the square is the determinant of the tangent bundle. And I want to define the notion of abstract chan simon functional. It, it is a flat section. So you have this L, Lagrangian sum, immense Lagrangian sum manifold, and I put back this pre-quantum bundle to L, and this is a flat bundle. 
because the curvature of this guy is simplistic form. So these are flat bundles. And, uh, and uh, Chan Simon, uh, abstract Chan Simon is a global section of this, um, of this uh, uh, line bundle. And, and, and I want to, I want to uh, require that this uh, Chan Simon and this grading is related. So first of all, we consider this. So t we, we consider P of um, L and the TPL. This is a Lagrangian subspace, uh, TP of X. And we take this um, real determinant. And this is a subspace of complex determinant. So this is a this is C, this is C bundle, and this is R bundle, but it is oriented. So this 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 gives somehow you have, you have, a, you have a S bar gives a section of determinant CTX. This this idea right S1 bundle. Then uh, this is, S is a double cover, so S S is given. Then we obtain this uh, uh, section of P. S1 value section of P. So that, that, that is uh, that is uh, that, that, that is this uh, S. And the requirement is that uh, this uh, this Chan Simon section, which is flat, is homotopic to this section, which is related to gradient. So this is basically energy, and this is basically grading. And as you know, monotone means that uh, energy and uh, energy and grading is consistent. So this is what I want to call monotone structure. So um, so, so the object. Is this uh, Lagrange, immersive Lagrangian sum manifold with monotone structure? And I'll explain what is bounding cochain soon, but not, not now. So, this is I want to go back to the theorem. The theorem is that there exists a filter the infinity functor, that is gauge theory category, to so this category of Lagrangian flare theory, and it is a homotopy equivalent to so a full subcategory. So, what is, what, 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 what is functor is for, as for object? So, you have a Y, so Y is a three manifold whose boundary is sigma and given with E of Y. Then you take this L of Y, which is the flat connections on Y. And uh, of course, in general, it is uh, singular, but you can put up, you can put up so that th th this, this LY is an immersed Lagrangian sum manifold of this uh, space of flat connection on sigma. I mean, the ma ma map is, of course, uh, you have a connection A, you can just restrict it to sigma. And this is the Lagrangian emergence in, and after appropriate perturbations. And, uh, and I, I say that th th this Lagrangian sub manifold has, uh, has this abstract, uh, has this monotone structure. I mean, abstract Chan Simon is uh, actually, actually Chan Simon. The Chan Simon invariant of a three manifold with boundary is a bit uh, delicate thing to define, but if you think about the definition carefully, then it gives a uh, section of this pre quantum bundle, it is flat. You know, the, uh, I mean, in, in the closed case, Chan Simon invariant is constant on the connected component because of flat connections, because flat connection is, is critical, critical sub-manifold. And it, it is, if we, it's a relative version is that this Chan Simon section is flat. Okay. Now I want to explain some, uh, so the so first corollary of this is the following series. So suppose that this boundary Y1, Boundary y2 is sigma. Then I take this y by gluing this y1 and y sigma. Y2. Then this is this is instanton play of moji of this uh, the visible bundles. And then uh, this this Lagrangian sum manifold together with this bounding cochain is, is isomorphic. So this is a, this is a version of a of fair conjecture. And uh, and uh, yeah. And uh, as I said that this iso this isomorphism is actually G2. Uh, no, no, G2 or G uh, coefficient, and also it, it uh, preserves filtrations. And in the case when there's a Lagrangian sum manifold are embedded, then this, 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 the proof is written in this paper with Zarek Abadami and Lipiansky. And in this case, uh, it is embedded and uh, it is monotone, so we can take uh, bounding cochain to be zero. But we can do it for the mass case. So, so I want to mention another, another applications, possible application of this, of this functorial formulation. It, it's a following thing. We, we can find some explicitly calculable NVT category, F0 sigma, it is actually a subcategory of this. So 
So that uh, this 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 gauge theory category is is a category of light modules. So what it means? So so you have a given y. There you have this kind of light f zero plc module. And uh, uh, and uh, instant homology is a cohomology of uh, um, light module homomorphism. This is somehow uh, we, we, we want to do, but, but no, no, we cannot do it yet. But in some case, we can do. And uh, so let me recall what is a light module, because that, that, that is used uh, for the proof also. So you have an empty category C, the light module D is the following object. Suppose you are given object of C, then we get a module D of C. And uh, it has a, it came with M, M0. It's a boundary operator. And you have a two object. Then we have a light actions. So light actions on this bar complex. So that's the simplest case. And one is D of C tensor C, C, C prime, which goes to D of C prime. So this is, I mean, in a case, every category is just an uh, associative algebra. This, this is a light application. So this is a light module. And we can just high, higher case. And there is uh, appropriate infinity relations. So this is a notion of light, light module. And we can define the notion of light module homomorphism. And this it is given so called a DG category. I mean, every category we only M1 and M2 exist. So, and uh, I, I, I remind you that there is a uh, one, one uh, algebraic fact is that uh, if you have an NPT category C, there is an NPT functor called Yoneda functor, which associates light C module to C. And uh, this is, uh, I mean, as, as, as an object, you have an object C. So C is an object of this category. Then I want to, I want to define light. So yon, C is a light C module. So another, if we are as given another object of C, then the, the module is that this space of morphism from C to C prime. So this is uh, this is uh, this and uh, this is uh, and uh, you can define structure operations on the site module just by using structure operation of AVT category, and this is uh, and and then there is a AVT functor from C to this uh, light, so that this is a homotopy equivalent. So this is called a Yoneda Yoneda lemma and the Yoneda embedding. So now a, a conjecture is the following things, given given. Sigma is sigma as before. I expect, we expect there's a finitely many explicit choice of this yi whose boundary is sigma. And, and so that this space of flat connections of yi is embedded and it split generate this uh, category. Probably this is a simple geometric uh, seminar. Maybe several people here, many people hear about split, split generations. Which is studied much in homological mirror symmetry. So I don't explain so much, but so you, so I, I want to expect that there are finitely many three manifold whose Lagrangian split generate this category. So why this 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 is good? So suppose that we have we had such a yi, then let let f zero sigma be the full full subcategory so that its object is this finitely many yi. Now we consider this functor. So we start from this uh, gauge theory category, then. So this is uh, something uh, uh, I, I call a tier flare functor. That is, a, that is the main theorem. And then we have this Yoneda functor. And then this is the restriction. And the, the fact that is first functor, a tier flare functor is a, is a homotopy equivalent to the image is, is a theorem, is our main theorem. And the second fact that this is a um, homotopy equivalent to the image is Yoneda, Yoneda theorem, Yoneda lemma. And the fact that this is this restriction is, is a, a homotopy equivalence to full subcategory is exactly the consequence of this split generation. So if you compose these three functors, you see that this gauge category is a isomorphic 
some category of NVT modules. And we expect that we have this some, some explicit uh, uh, calculation of this uh, category, relatively small, so that the uh, gauge theory, the free homology for three manifold is boundary is some kind of light module of a certain NVT category. And if you consider this Hegel's free homology, which is, I think, by, uh, by, by people like uh, uh, Osbas, Lipschitz, and, uh, and those people, uh, they, they, they formulate free homology for three manifold, Hegel's uh, free homology for three manifold with boundary in this way. Some, but I don't know direct relation, but this, this, this kind of thing we, we expect. And uh, the candidate of this finite limit choice is not given in the following way. This is something uh, I covered, I explained uh, yesterday, uh, last week. So we take this HG minus one, this is a hundred body. And the boundary is G, 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 G minus Y, mom. And we put the trivial bundle. And we have this T2, so we have a T2 cross zero one. And E is a, this is a non trivial. So W2 of E of T2 is this fundamental class. And we take this trivial, then you take this boundary connected sum. So you have YI. So you have this genus uh, something here and this something here. And you take boundary connected sum. So, so you have this, uh, so this is sigma G and this is T2. And we have this um, three manifold which is given non-trivial non bundles so that it, it, it's restriction of T2 and the sigma G is non-trivial. So you get by uh, this way. And uh, I, I remarked that there are many ways to represent, uh, so I mean, I mean, so if you have this, uh, uh, I mean, there are, I mean this, this is not only one, right, because uh, there are many, many ways of this Hegel, Hegel splitting, or many, many ways that sigma G is, so you have a lot of different morphism. And you change it, you have many YI. So, so we expect that to taking this finitely many of such a choices, we can get this uh, um, split generator. I don't know that it's true or not, but Ivan Smith proved, the, proved found such an express generator in this way in the case of genus two. And he also calculated on this uh, 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 on this full subcategory generated by the finitely many choices. It's very explicit. So using Ivan Smith's work, we can construct this uh, um, functor from here to this uh, here in a genus two cases. And uh, we expect that we can generate a higher genus, but it's, uh, I don't know. Okay, so now uh, the mark is that, uh, so I, I mentioned that there's a functor from this, uh, gauge theory category to this category of light modules. And uh, one thing I want to mention is that this, this functor actually does not, it can be defined using only gauge theory, right? So th this functor as an object constant, you start from Y. So Y the three manifold is bounded sigma. Then I want to consider this module. And module is something like this. So you have this YI, it's object here. And you associate instant on free homology of Y connected sum over sigma over yi. So this, so, so this is a, this is defined by purely uh, gauge theory side. And also module structure you can define. Light module structure also you can define uh, by this uh, multiplications. So this is just somehow purely uh, gauge theory constructions. And uh, however, uh, probably it is uh, easier to define some split generation in symplectic side because uh, I think during the study of homological mirror symmetry, we learn much about the generations of uh, 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 category. So we can use those tools to prove this generation. Actually, Ivan Smith used this uh, symplectic side. And I think he used the Paul Sider's method to prove uh, generations. That is uh, spring monodromy into dent twist. Anyway. So let me explain what is bounding cochain and uh, immersed player theory. So, but uh, immersed Lagrangian free theory is uh, uh, studied by Akaho Joyce. But here, I, I, I'm a bit, uh, this, here, this version is a bit slightly modified because we use this monotone structure. So, let Li is an immersed Lagrangian summary for in this uh, space of flood connections. We assume that it has a monotone structure. 
And as I mentioned before, if, if this LI is embedded, then this Lagrangian flare theory between two L1 and L2. It is, so so in, in, this means that, uh, uh, and this monotone structure means that LI is monotone. And uh, this is a G4 graded. <coughs> this is the basically because C1 is uh, twice of something. And uh, Yogi Go constructed such a Lagrangian uh, flare theory and calls idols uh, so that this is a G4 graded. And we can use this abstract Chan Simon to define yeah, filtrations. So, I mean, usually, usually uh, Lagrangian flare theory, all the intersection generator is a kind of this. This this is a filter that uh, filtration zero. But to, you have this L one and L two, but then uh, you have this S. Chan Simon of P, L1 of the Chan Simon of L2 of P, then so this difference is an element of S1. So it, it is something like a more filtered. And actually, using this grading, this grading structure also, it is actually R filtered. And uh, this uh, immersed Lagrangian flare theory it looks in the following way. So you have to consider this uh, flare chain complex for S2. And this is a homology of the cyber product, L1 and L2 on the over X. And suppose that case this L1 tilde and L2 tilde is L tilde. Then this fiber product is uh, something L tilde itself at this space. So this is so this is a space, something like this. So this is L tilde. And uh, so, so, so then uh, in, in this case, uh, CF is a homology of S1. And you have this, this plus plus uh, rank two. To copy. And this is so this is this is a space. Pair of pair of points in PQ. So this is which coincides, but the, which it was image coincides, but not coincides. So this is a self-intersection point. And th th this part is called the switching part. So this this chain complex is a homology of itself under the free uh, finitely finite generated uh, module generated by switching part. And to define this MQ operator, so we draw a picture like this. So um, So uh, I think this, this BK, maybe for simplicity, just, just L, L. So here we have, a, uh, we have this kind of things, right? So, so, so element here is something like a P1, blah, 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 PK, PQ, PK plus one, blah, blah, blah. So in each element, it either P, it a cycle in L tilde, or PQ, it's, it's called the switching. So you, you take this PI on this uh, marked points, which is a kind of lies on a, on a so, so and, and then here you have this uh, switching part. So you consider U and you count this kind of holomorphic disk so that, uh, uh, and, and you take marked point so that you constrain this, this U so that it, it goes to, It goes to PI on, the, on this on this marked point, and on the switching part you you, you have this uh, switching conditions. So you you count this kind of holomorphic disk, and it gives this operator. So in the embedded cases, in the embedded cases you just count this kind of things, right? But in the mass case you also take this switching thing. So this is the definition of MK. And Did actually, you this. Pardon? Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, so, so um, one or two slides ago, I think you said that the filtration comes from the abstract churn Simons. Yes. And I'm wondering, um, is that anything like an energy filtration? It is basically equivalent to any energy filtrations. Okay. I mean, you, you know, you have this, this fact. 
um, curvature of uh, lambda is uh, is omega, right? And uh, this s is uh, c s is uh, lambda flat. So these two factors mean that basically this Chan Simon knows the uh, energies. And if you see about the gauge theory side, Chan Simon is a kind of relative version of Pontryagin numbers. So. Okay. So since, uh, yeah. So since we have a monotonicity, and it implies that the uh, monotonicity structures imply that M01 is actually only on a switching component. I mean, M01 is of structures. And you know that if I don't get all this, that in a case of monotone Lagrange like summary code, then uh, uh, homology is not obstructed. That that comes from the dimension counting. And we can do a similar thing. So for, for the, if you have no switching component, then uh, Ray homology is very defined, but uh, you have this kind of things. Oh. This is called a teardrop. And this is M01. And M01 is actually this point, this is 16 component. So you have this, um, uh, because of monotonicity, so in, in an embedded case, you don't have any obstruction, but in general, it has obstruction, but only on the switching component. So we consider uh, uh, bounding gauge. So this is bounding gauge. Which is supported only on the switching part. So this bounding gauge has, uh, has this kind of thing. So PQ is a, PQ is a kind of pair. So ILP is ILQ, PQ, and PQ is a point of L tilde, right? So you have this kind of sum. And I, I, I and, and also we require that this this one is this is an element of Novikov ring, but it's a finite sum. And we, we require this smaller calculus. So this this is a uh, this is the object in our case. So you have this uh, L i and it's uh, uh, and and it's a monotonicity structure plus this bounding gauge. And in this case, we have this you can define this Freya homology. And uh, it is a cohomology of finite generated module. And this is a kind of lambda zero E, e in, in bus. I think in a book, for Cubus book, similar ring appeared, but there are some difference. In, so in, in our uh, for Cubus book, degree E was uh, two and uh, E has no energy. So in energy filtration, it just plays out. But in our case, Degree of E is four because this is Z4 graded. And, it, so the, 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 and this C, C is a monotonicity constant. Just to shift the uh, energy by, by lambda. Actually, so for, for intersection point, P, then the generator is a pair of P and some something. And the, For intersection points, you have P, so P is a generator, but you have another thing, gamma. Gamma is a map from arc to S1. S1 is identified to the fiber of pre quantum bundle at, uh, at P. And the gamma zero is this uh, Chan Simon of uh, Chan Simon L1 of P, and the gamma one is uh, Chan Simon L2 of P. And since this, since you have a pass, then this, this gamma gives some number, real number, because you have a you have, so you have a pass two point, and you take a pass, so this, this gives a number. Go to you can go to universal cover, and since you fix these two passes. This this gives a grading uh, because of the definitions. It gives some map from this SP pass between SP and SL to P. This is this pole side is grading in a pole side sense, and uh, you know the, the giving this, this pass and giving this pass is equivalent because of this homotopy because uh, Chan Simon and S is homotopic. So we have a pass here, and that gives a Z grading, which lifts Z four grading. So, th so this is a kind of uh, way. So we have this 
uh, before graded, we have this very body, which has a period of four uh, with this uh, filtrations. And if you look about, if you look at this uh, gauge theory case, it is exactly the structure we see the gauge theory. So this is a, a, a flare theory. So we just define flare theory with this uh, uh, Z4 grading and uh, filtrations. So this is a theorem. There's a filter affinity factor from this gauge theory category to this uh, category of the summary for all these monotonicity structures. And the object is Y associated to this space of flat connections. And this BY, so we, we should prove the existence of BY or using gauge theory. And it is a finite sum and supported on switching component. So that is this uh, statement of the theorems. Okay, so in the remaining 14 minutes, I want to explain uh, some part of the proof. So to prove it, uh, so we are, we are supposed to construct this uh, AVT functors. And the first we construct the following functor. Uh, so the, uh, let me write it at your free functor. And uh, uh, first we cost construct this uh, functor from this gauge theory AVT category to this light module category. So, so the strategy is you have this kind of gauge sigma. And you have this, um, sorry. You have a category of light module over F chi sigma, and you have this uh, chi F chi sigma itself, and you have this Yoneda embedding. So the first step is to construct from the gauge theory category to this category of light model. And then the second step is just to show if you have any object here, they have this object here. But uh, I want to prove that uh, it, it is a, uh, so you, you have this uh, particular object, Ly, By, that exists. So, so then, then we send it to by Yoneda functor here. And I want to prove that this, this uh, object here is a isomorphic equivalent to the image of Yoneda functor. So why, why, why this is good? Because uh, you, know, you have Yoneda embedding. Yoneda embedding means that uh, Yoneda's lemma says that uh, this Yoneda embedding is a homotopy equivalent to the subcategory. So you can lift. So, 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 so it means that this part of B means that this, this uh, atia Freya functor is contained in the image of the Yoneda functor. So you can compose the inverse Yoneda factor and then you can, you can compose inverse of this Yoneda functor. Yeah, inverse of your unit functor to obtain this functor. That is the functor we want. So this is the second step. And the third step is to show that this, this the functor we obtain is an isomorphism in cohomology. So that is, so the proof goes in this three step. And the first step is probably the most essential. So I want to explain first step. So the first step is I want to construct uh, some NVT functor from this gauge theory category to the category of right modules. And uh, there is some general fact in, uh, in a homological algebra. If you have two NVT categories, then if you have a, something called the NVT by module, then we got this NVT functor from C to the light module of C prime. So let me recall what is the NVT by module D. So, so here you have, so this, if we have two objects C and C prime, then we have this the module D C C prime. And uh, we have this uh, operations. This operation is somehow, yeah. Operation is something like this. So in a simple in a simple cases, uh, in a simpler case of um, no 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 yeah, in a sim simpler case of you, know, you have this kind of C algebra, the D by module, you just you have this map from C term, term D to D and D term C to D, right? So this is N zero one and this is N one zero. And in this infinity setting, you have a and k for all n and k. So this is the infinity pi module. So now, let me recall that. So, so the fact is that you have an infinity pi module, then you have this, this functor from C to light module. The construction is that you have a D, then light module should associate, you have a C is object of C prime, no, it's object of C. Then, then we, we associate C 
So this guy, uh, this is a C prime is an object of C prime, and this is a light module. I think this is a, a, a yeah, yeah. And, and in the case of this usual ring, it is very no, well no fact. And this infinity version is very much uh, simple generalizations. So, 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 so we want to construct this A prime, this uh, infinity functor. So what we need is that to construct infinity by module over this infinity category. And uh, no, no, I'm sorry, uh, over this infinity category, right? Sorry. Is going to sprint. Then we get this infinity by module. So what is this? So, so object object of this category is, is, is a three manifold, and object of this category is a Lagrangian sum manifold. So what we need to construct is a given three manifold and given Lagrangian sum manifold. We want to get a module. So module is like this. So we consider space R of, of the pairs A, and A is a flat connection on Y three manifold, and P is a point of L prime. And so, so A is so, so boundary Y is sigma. So we restrict A to sigma. It's a flat connection on sigma. And so this, this, this is an element of chi of sigma. And IL is a map from L prime to chi of sigma. So we assume this. So in, in general, this is something like a, a fiber product. Over chi sigma. But more and more explicitly, we have this kind of pairs. So this is a this is a module. And the structure operations, this looks rather lengthy, right? You have this so structure operation is something like this. So this is a kind of a gauge theory side. And this is a Lagrangian side. And this is a mixed side. You, have the, you, you, you need to find this kind of uh, operations. And this operation exactly constructed by, by mixed equations. So maybe maybe I wrote that's very simple for the first simple case. Is the following? Oh, sorry. Can I can I just um, ask a quick thing? So so is yeah. the right interpretation that that thing in the middle is an infinity by module um, over like the instanton and floor theory sides? Yes yes ex exactly. Okay okay thanks. So the first thing I want to so so first for example we want to construct CF y y prime tensor cf y prime l to cf y l, right? So how to construct this kind of things? So we consider this, this, this picture. You have this l. X. So this is a y prime. This is y, and you have this match, match lines. So, so x is a, a four manifold whose boundary is a, a, a r cross sigma, and three ends. One is this uh, y cross zero infinity. It's here, and the second one is y prime. I'm, I'm sorry, this is. Minus infinity zero, and this is a zero infinity. And the third, third thing is y y prime cross uh, zero infinity. So, so, so this is one, two, three. This is one. This is two. And this is three. So you have this four manifold with uh, three ends. And then uh, uh, so we have this kind of thing. So this, this is a kind of R cross. No, no, R cross zero one. And we have a map U to chi of sigma. And so we, we consider, so, so we consider this, this, this configurations and we consider here script A and U. So script A is a ASD connections on, on X and uh, in this in one, in, in this first boundary, it gave some alpha. Uh, it it gave some a. So a a p is an element of R. So it, it's a generator of C F Y L. And in two, 
into it gives uh, b q and uh, this is r prime and it is a so b, b, it is a generator of c f y prime l so you have this connection a here connection b here and the p here q here and on this third type third type third is this guy you have alpha it is a flat connection on y Okay, so you have alpha here. So you have this uh, connections here, which is asymptotic to the three flat connections, A, B, and alpha. And on this part, so the so U is defined on this part. And the matching conditions is the following things. So if we restrict uh, this is the connections to, uh, to uh, sigma, Cross the tau cross r, then it is a uh, it, it it equivalence class is u of um, tau u of zero tau. So maybe this, so you you restrict connections here. So this is a restriction a of tau zero. It's a, it's a I mean it's a boundary, and then u. Is a map, so, so you have this matching pair. The U is a map to this flat connections. And we require this R is a flat on this boundary and it ma matches on this U. So that, this is a matching conditions. And this kind of, this kind of uh, moduli space is uh, uh, studied by Lipiansky. So now, uh, now so, so, so then, then we count, so count such configuration. That gives uh, this map, right? Because alpha is here, and A P is here, and B Q is here. So we count this moduli space, you get this uh, this thing. So this is a kind of left module structure, and the right module structure is uh, in the following way. So you want to co construct C F Y L tensor. CF L, L prime, and it goes to uh, CF Y L prime. And the construction is you have this Y. And the, so this is X. So yeah, yeah, Y is, so this is like just y, y cross R is X. And then uh, you have this put here, and then you have this L here. And you have L prime here. So here you have this A, A, A P, and this is a, so P, P is an element of L tilde. And A is a connection. And you have a B, Q, and Q is an element of L tilde prime. And here you have X, X is an element of L, um, fiber product. So you consider, so, so you consider the pair of this, this, this is ASD. And this U is a holomorphic curve whose boundary condition is given by this. And you assume this matching condition. And you count it and you get this map. And you have a several, you have a many in, in both sides then that the definition is quite similar. So this is a definition of FED bimodular structure. And I, I want to mention that this CFIL N00 is actually, should be isomorphic to the pre homology of C manifold with Lagrangian boundary conditions. That is defined by Wilhelm and Salomon in a slightly different context, but it should be isomorphic. So uh, I, I don't have so many time, but I just want to go to the second part. So I want to prove that this, this uh, image about your Freak functor is equal to the Yoneda functor. So to, to define it, we need uh, uh, isomorphism. So for, for if you have a L is an object, then this Atia Freak functor associates this uh, Freak homology. Right, this is a, this is the CF Y L N zero, and here so this this is a, so this is a Yoneda functor. So this should associate this Lagrangian free theory of L Y and L. So I want to construct this isomorphism, and construction is actually uh, once we cook up this bimodular structure, it's rather simple. So you take this L zero one, 
But take this L, particular this LY. So this is a, 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 a right homology structure, free homology LY, LY, tensor, free homology LY, L2, free homology YL. But then if you consider free, chain complex of LY, y, l, y. So, so this is exact, uh, so this, in this case, R is uh, uh, LY itself plus some switching. Switching is uh, this, 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 this image of Langer has a uh, self intersections. So we consider this part as just one, it's a unit. Then we have a map from, so, so we, we fix this one. So we have X, X here to here. So this is a map from this, this side to this side. So this is a chain map. And the, 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 the proof that is isomorphism is based on the fact that uh, if you calculate energy zero part of this map, then this is an identity map. I'm sorry, this is the last slide. So I want to finish this is the last slide. So the last step is just to show that this is an isomorphism of cohomology. So we need to prove that this guy, this is the instant of homology, is isomorphic to the Lagrangian of homology. But the part B, we prove that this guy is equal to this guy, right? We can replace this by one. So I want to prove this guy. I mean, it, this is a mix homology, and this is isomorphic to the gauge. But then we take another, not this time, we, we take this left module structure, y1, y2, and y2, and y2. Then this goes to, so, so this one is something we want. And this one is some here. And this one, again, is it, just a kind of a homology of LY2 plus uh, switching. And we just take again one. And this map is an isomorphism, again, by this fact that the, the, the energy zero part is just identity map. OK, so this is a sketch of proof. So thank you very much. I stop here. Kenji, a hand. Any questions for Kenji? So maybe I'll start off with one. Um, so I guess about halfway through, you had this corollary that says that when y is the sum of y1 and y2 along sigma, and i is these two Lagrangian with um, and I might have missed it, but can you describe how the bounding cochains are defined? Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's I didn't talk about, but, but you know, um, the, the, the bounding cochain is the following thing. So we, we, I, 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 use, I use this element one so much. And this is actually corrected. And the claim is that there exists a unique bounding cochain such that this Y is a cycle. This is a purely algebraic statement actually. So once we could capture this by modules, then we can use this algebraic lemma to, to find funding cochain. Okay, so I shouldn't think of this as some like geometrically defined thing. It's it's just some algebraic thing. Yes. Okay, okay. It is it, it just defined by using this by module structure. But to, actually it is expected that there are some, some this, this B should be, fundamental class of some modular spaces, but that conjecture is not proved. That's very similar to the station Lagrangian correspondence. As you know, that modular space of figure bubble is supposed to give a bounding cochain. But in my way of studying Lagrangian correspondence, I use very similar lemma to the obtain bounding cochain. Okay, but, but to... one might expect it to be like a count of figure eight bubbles. Yeah, there are some gauge theory virtual in figure eight bubble. Yeah, okay, okay, great. Okay, any more questions for Kenji? Okay, um, then why don't we give uh, a hand to uh, both Kenji and to Ali for uh, a really great mini series. <laughs>